Hello, this video is going to demonstrate the different types of questions that you can use when doing a Google Form. When you're adding a question to a Google Form, you'll see this little Add Item button. When you click on that button, it gives you uh, all of these different choices that you can use to add to your form. So I've went ahead and I've added one of each to just briefly talk about what they do. The first option for a question is just a text box. Uh, in which the person taking the form can type in a short response. There's also a paragraph text option that you can use if the person typing the response is going to have more that they'll have to say. There's a multiple choice question. Uh, with multiple choice, there are some, some different options. Uh, if you want, you can have them go to a page based upon what they click. So I've seen some people do some choose your own adventure uh, type forms where once they click on it, it will take them to a different page. Or, you know, if you have a form where it's a click yes or no, you know, if they click no, it can just skip them a couple pages to the next section that's pertinent to them. You can add an other option as well if you want them to be able to click other and then type in their answer. Uh, check boxes. You can use checkboxes as well. The difference between checkboxes and multiple choice, with the checkboxes, they can check more than one. Uh, just as in multiple choice, you can also add an other. Uh, but an, another interesting thing with the checkboxes is that you can have data validation. If I go into advanced settings, I can have data validation where they have to select at least uh, you know, a certain number of boxes. At most, a certain number of boxes are exactly a certain number of boxes. Uh, the next option is choose from a list. They can click and uh, you know choose from a list which, uh, which item they would like. There's a scale. With the scale, you can customize uh, what the different axis says on the scale. There's a grid. Uh, with the grid, you can choose the column headings. You can show, choose the row headings. And you can also uh, limit responses to one per column. Uh, if, uh, you know, depending upon the type of data that you're trying to collect, if you need to do that. There is a date option. With the date question, you can also add in time. Uh, if the person entering it needs to be more specific. Uh, and you can also do a question just for time. Uh, and you can toggle whether you want it to be uh, a time that they're entering or if you want it to be duration that they're entering as well. There are some different formatting options with the Google Form. Uh, you can do a section header. Uh, you can do a page break. If you're going to have a multi-page survey, you can do a page break and insert different pages. You may also uh, insert images. And you can insert YouTube videos into your survey as well. That's a quick overview of some of the different options you can have uh, as survey questions when using a Google Form. Uh, I think it's a great tool. And uh, let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.